training home of the Kansas City Royals Texas Rangers tonight the home of the rising stars game in the Arizona Fall League is Danny Gutierrez Los Angeles born Riverside raised goes to work and see what he has done in the Arizona Fall League behind home plate Matt McBride we saw Matt hit earlier Matt now goes to work and he will catch from the Cleveland Indians organization over at first, Ike Davis now gets a chance. Arizona State University, maybe City Field, as we talked about earlier. And Carlos Rivero is at third. Indians organization, young man out of Venezuela. All right, we're set. We hope you are. Here is splitting time between high A and double A. Pours a fastball in there for strike one. Sounds like he's got some fans down there. Well, you grew up in L.A. That's just a short drive away. Shoulder problems had him on the D.L. for quite some time. Fastball, 94 in there for a strike. This young man this year spent time in A, you know, a ball and, and double A. Had a lot of success. Uh, not really an overpowering guy. Uh, not a whole lot of strikeouts per inning pitch. 28 for 32 and a third inning pitch. But the fact remains, as you see him uh, strike out uh, Brandon Allen there on the breaking ball, uh, the fact remains that he's been getting people out. 171 batting average against this year between both places, A ball and double A. He's had some success. Fastball, fastball, 12 to 6. Knee buckling, breaking ball. Oh, they're not going anywhere. They'll get that figured out. The new ownership group of the Chicago Cubs and City of Mesa. They may be touching it up a little bit. But this is Hank Conger. <laughs> and he takes a strike over the outside. Big Hank. Juan Choi is his given name, his grandfather. Nicknamed him Hank because his grandfather lives in Atlanta. I think there was there someone named go. Hank. There you go. My goodness, what a bender! 0 and 2. That's reason enough for me. I grew up a huge Hank Aaron fan. Uh, it wasn't until later that I realized that the content of the man's character was more valuable than what he did on the field. So I remained a huge Hank Aaron fan. Breaking ball, three pitches. Gutierrez, a plus stuff. The week two pitcher of the week. Here in the Arizona Fall League and the Southern California contingency love it. Well, I said earlier that his strikeouts per innings pitched weren't, uh, weren't real high, but uh, he has proven me wrong with the six or seven pitches he's thrown so far here in the, uh, in the uh, top of the seventh inning. Just before the end of the season, he was traded from Kansas City to the Texas organization. And at the uh, end of the minor league season, he made just five starts in 09. You see all those strikeouts in his career, too. He's a big time ground ball pitcher. Put all that together, you've got uh, winning stuff. I'll tell you what, he's got good velocity on his fastball. You saw 97 there, he's been living at about 93, 94. So he's got a live arm, and you combine that with that breaker he's featuring tonight, he's a handful. Fastball just missed the inside corner. Two and one to count. Sounded like a strike, didn't it, sir? It certainly <laughs> did. Missed some time April to July on the disabled list with some shoulder problems. Fastball, two and two the count. <laughs> Fast list is in full effect. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah, family in attendance. Some friends made the trip over. He strikes out the side. I may even be a fan. <laughs> the 2 2. Breaking ball bounces in there. You know, you don't see a lot of guys throw a, a true 12 6 anymore. You'll see guys throw that little sharp slider or more of a slurve. And what I mean by 12 6 is a, a ball that starts at 12 o'clock and drops to 6 o'clock straight down. You just don't see a lot of guys that throw that anymore. Yikes. 96 miles an hour. And he lost. Big fella. Big fella worked himself a walk. Now with two outs. Tight ball game. They've got the lead. 
some point in time during this at bat, it wouldn't surprise me to see if he tries to take off again as he gets himself in scoring position here with two outs. Yeah, especially with a power pitcher trying to blow hitters away, I would imagine a little bit easier to run off. 22 years old, Danny Gutierrez. Sink on that one, it's low. It'll be 23 spring training time, and that rolls around. Rubido High School in Riverside. Mm. On a line, diving attempt. It gets by Zawatsky and into right field. Brown stumbles a bit, heading to third, but he's in there with a head first slot. So a couple of big strikeouts, a lot of noise being made. Now the noise right back at you, says the East squad. Tell you what, that was a nice piece of hitting right there. Didn't try to do too much with this fastball away. Simply shot it in the direction it wanted to go anyway. Almost made a great play there at second, but again, hustling Dom, hitting from first to third there. I tell you what, it, it must be nice at 6'6 six, six, to lengthen out and take all of six strides in between bases. And that's exactly what he did. So now Jamil Weeks gets his fourth plate appearance. He walked, grounded out, reached on a fielder's choice. Best pitch in the game, sir. Changes the entire scene for a hitter, doesn't it? I tell you what, at the plate, when you're when you're 0-1 instead of 1-0, your whole perspective changes. As opposed to trying to work yourself back into the at bat. When you're sitting there 0-1, you can simply settle and look for a pitch that you can do something with. When you, when you go 0-1, just like Mr. Weeks did right there, you end up swinging at a ball you wouldn't necessarily want to swing at. It's not a strike, but now you're, you're on your heels a little bit because the realization is you're facing a guy with great stuff, and the last thing you want to do is is work from behind. So this next pitch, i got to be ready to go. I expand my zone. Now I find myself 0-2 with two outs. No balls and two strikes, as mentioned. One is on first and third. Curveball got it. It all started with strike one. He struck out the side. You know they love it. 